Hello and welcome, my gentle and of course very modern apes. It's actually been a hot minute for me since I've sat down at the computer. You've been seeing me, but that's because I'm a very good YouTuber and filmed and edited four videos in advance so you would have something to watch while I was doing other things. For about the past three weeks, I've been on a mega road trip and I visited about 12 national parks, several state parks, and several national forests with my fiance and my French friend. America's got its problems, but I'm going to be honest when I tell you I think we have the best national park system in the entire world, and I've been a lot of places. We went to Dinosaur National Monument, which was absolutely incredible, amongst many other places. I've been super obnoxious about it on Twitter, so you should follow me at Guts at Gibbon if you want to see some of the places that I went. Here are some of the pictures of some of the places that I went. But the business continues because I am getting married in four days. And not everybody gets to marry their best friend, so it's kind of a big deal for me. And about a week after the wedding, 10 days or so. The two of us are going to be heading off to Kenya, Nairobi, to do some work in the museum there for my dissertation. And then I start work in school again. So the summer has been absolutely packed in all of the right ways, but I wanted to kind of give you like a state of the union to tell you where I'm at, where we're gonna be going from here, state of the channel, things like that. I'm obviously gonna be doing my best to make sure that videos continue to come out every Wednesday. The videos will continue until the compliments cease. These videos will probably mostly be series content as well as a couple of bigger idea videos that I want to throw in there, but those take time in order for them to be, you know, appropriately systematic. For instance, I want to do a big video on intelligent design as a concept. I would like to do another large video on like why humans are apes. But in between these bite-sized busts, the Library of Errors, and the Wild Tall of Human Evolution series will all be kind of continuing in the background as I can get to them. And of course, you gotta have some dumb filler content in there too. In fact, if you have anything dumb that you would like to see me cover, shoot me an email and tell me what it is. We might end up covering it on a filler content then. A day very much like today, which is why you're getting a PSA video instead of anything substantial. But cut me some slack, I'm getting married this weekend. Right. I also hope to do a video while I'm in Kenya to kind of show you the museum and some really cool Miocene ape fossils while I'm there. It's dependent on whether or not they'll let me, but I suspect they will. So look forward to that. That'll be really cool. Naturally, we'll continue to have debunking videos, taking care of certain clowns on the internet who just can't seem to uh, stop being wrong. But I like to keep those things a secret until they come out. I like you to wonder who's next on the chopping block. I will tell you that I've been dying to make a comprehensive video looking at a one Dr. Nathaniel Jeans and a young earth creationist scientist out of Answers in Genesis. And the timing couldn't be more perfect because friend of the channel, Dr. Dan Stern Cardinal, just got done having a very elucidating online conversation with Dr. Nathaniel Jensen, which incidentally just uh, invalidated his entire life's work, I suppose. I was camping when this interview actually happened and I was just losing my mind wishing that I could actually watch it. Service was coming in and out and I couldn't actually stream any video. But I did eventually get around to watching this conversation between Dan and Jensen. And I have to tell you, it is absolutely incredible. I can't recommend it enough. It would do my heart good, physically good. It would physically make me healthier if you would watch this video and share it with whoever you can. Because again, this is Nathaniel Jensen just kind of owning up to the fact that he does numerous egregiously incorrect things uh, in his kind of life's journey to show that the earth is 6,000 years old. And this is like the guy. So this is really something special. We get answers to why he decides not to use Neanderthal sequences. We get answers to how he gets his specifically fast mutation rate. We get answers to the unrooted tree. And I would tell you what those answers are, but I simply refuse to give away the punchline. You need to go watch Dan's video. Yes, he's a friend of the channel, and I, of course, want Dan to succeed, but honest to God, 
This video is incredible. Just get, just watch it. What are you still doing here? I want to take this moment to to thank everybody who's subscribed to this channel and those of you who comment, you know, for the algorithm and like and do all the good stuff. This channel is fast becoming my primary source of income, weirdly enough. I did not set out for that to be the case, but I make more doing this than I make actually teaching, which is concerning now that I think about it. I do read every single comment even the mean ones, and I try to respond to every email. I feel that's my responsibility as a content creator. And I I just can't thank you enough for giving the channel this attention. I never thought that the channel would get this far. We're almost to 40,000 subscribers. That's huge. My channel is a very niche interest, so I, I just, I can't thank you enough. If you'd like to take the opportunity in the comments under this video, let me know like what you think of the channel as it is, its current trajectory, the kinds of video topics that I cover, things that you'd like to see more of, things that you'd like to see less of, things that you want from the channel that are maybe not currently present. Like, do you want me to add more merchandise? Do you want me to add more opportunities to support the channel outside of just like buying stickers off of Redbubble or becoming a patron? What do you think? I want to hear from you. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep on trucking. I love this channel, I love you guys, I love the topic, I love learning, and I know that you guys like all of those things as well. Maybe we could even get to 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Wouldn't that be super epic? And so my gentle and of course very modern apes, thank you for being here for this gentle and modern PSA, and uh, I'll see you next Wednesday as a married and pair-bonded Gutsy Gibbon.